and viewers, Tidy Likes is coming up next. Stay tuned for amazing and unseen places all around Thailand. Prepare yourself for adventure. Oh, hi there! <laughs> Swing underwater there for uh, five, six meters. Swam around a little bit just to uh, get used to the uh, scuba diving equipment. But I'm here in Kotalu in Bang Sapan district in Pachuok Kiri Khan province. And uh, I'm about to participate in some scuba diving. But right now I'm waiting for a friend of mine who's uh, coming to see me. And we're gonna do something special underwater. You know, you can't really find this type of activity. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of special. <laughs> Kot Halu is a medium sized island covered with an area of more than 1,000 acres. This marvelous heavens on earth has drawn inspiration from the unknown nature. Scuba diving and snorkeling has been two of the most enjoyable activities. Different coral species can be found such as staghorn coral, brain coral, and table coral. Kotalu is one of the last five location spots that is part of the Vinny Thai Coral Cultivation Collaboration for His Majesty the King's project. 80,000 corals have been planted since 2008, starting from Shonburi province, heading down towards the south of Batu of Kiri Khan. Kotalu is responsible for over 10,000 corals. A majority of corals have been harmed by careless fishermen. But it was about 20 years ago when Powell's father first bought the land on the island. Back then, coral reef bleaching started to produce from the effects of the natural disasters. Just now I went uh, scuba diving, but it was just like a practice session. Yeah, so I uh, was trying to get used to it. I just have some slight problems uh, with my ears. A little bit too, too much uh, water inside and causes a lot of pressure sometimes. But yeah, probably uh, get you to it. Get used to it later on. Today, Pao invited me to uh, plant some corals. Yes, and uh, talking about planting some corals, uh, this is part of the Science Activity Foundation project, uh, which Pao uh, has already started. And uh, now we're heading towards uh, one of the uh, bay. Uh, in just a few moments, we're going to fix the corals. All right, so, Pao, uh, so uh, tell us about the corals. Uh, what type of corals do we have today? Uh, this coral is called is the horn coral. Horn corals. So, uh, what what is the reason uh, that we're here to fix them? What's uh, the purpose? Uh, yes, this project is we have been doing this project for almost ten years. Mm. But last two days, I have a big group come yes. to join this activity. Yes, and. We plant the coral for uh, at this bay. This bay is called Ao Kluat. Ao Kluat. Yes. Approximately four meters deep. Four meters deep. Yes. Around this area. Yes. You come to check up and uh, fix it. It is not completely yet. I thought I was going to plant some corals, and that was it. But no. It was more than just planting corals. A lot of people might think that planting corals is like planting flowers and it'll just grow by itself. Think again. It would be very helpful if we keep an eye on them from time to time. And by doing this, it was my first scuba diving activity in the open sea. Sweet! Alright, uh, we all suit up, locked and loaded. Uh, just gonna 
explain a little bit about the uh, scuba dive procedures. Uh, just remember that uh, when we uh, dive down deep, uh, no matter how meters uh, you are, or no matter how deep you are, just remember to uh, squeeze your nose, just to avoid uh, hurting your ears, because it's going to be a water going through the ears, going to cause a lot of pressure. Well, that's to certain people. I have that slight problem, but it's not going to be uh, a major problem for me. So uh, I'm good to go. This well-known spot has been the center of attention of Gatalu. Visitors certainly enjoy their scuba diving and snorkeling activities. But the color of the sea is so clear that you can see many fish species, like Ember's parrotfish and some Indo-Pacific sergeant. We can even get close to them and they don't seem to be afraid of us. What we need to do now is fetch a total of nine corals and put them in a spot where there's enough sunlight. We call them staghorn corals. Corals are supposed to live underwater so they can vegetate enough salt. So we have to fix each corals by diving underwater. How are we going to how, how fix it? Uh, just What's wrong with it? Yeah, looking for the, the small piece of rock and put in the in the hole. Okay. Yeah. And what we about this? Is it, uh, is it broken over here? Yeah. Uh, is it, what yeah. Is, yeah. It, it's broken. Yeah. Maybe on for sale. Oh, is it? Is it just a uh, yeah. process and growing? Yeah. Okay then. But it's still alive. It's still alive. Yes. But you're not supposed to uh, bring it up in the air for a long time. Yeah. You have yeah. to uh, take it down it on the sea. Oh, Paul. So, uh, yeah. what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Help me move it. Okay. <laughs> Back and uh, yes, uh, make it fit with the hole. Not. And what about the stones? Where, where are we gonna look for the stones? Downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. Yeah, in the sand. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Staghorn corals are grown attaching themselves next to mountain corals. The other option is to grow them by using a PCB pipe. Corals cannot stay out in the open air for too long, so to fix them underwater should be very interesting. Successful, right? That's not <laughs> Oh, I got some blood. Oh, yeah, probably uh, stayed yeah, underwater yeah. for a long time. But uh, I'm good. <laughs> gang, gang. All right, successful. We uh, managed to uh, fix the horn corals and uh, put them down. We're just bringing it up just to show it. All right. We're officially done with uh, one of the horn corals. We fixed it. Yeah. Now we're gonna dive under and put it on, under the sand. Yeah, to set it down. Yeah, because yeah. we don't want to leave it uh, Good location. in the air too long. Yeah. It's gonna die. Yeah. All right.
I had no clue what happened to me. But all of a sudden, I felt an instant pain in my ear holes, so I had to come up. Pao took over for me, but I still managed to fix one of the corals. Too bad my diving tank ran out of oxygen. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just uh, taking a rest a little bit because uh, I just had some uh, uh, nose bleeding just now. Because yeah. I went to, I mean, I'm not used to scuba diving, so uh, you see when I talk, yeah. I can't even hear myself. Uh, really? Yeah, the water's inside the ear. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna take a rest. And uh, you can uh, go solo for a, a few minutes. Yeah. Because uh, just now I just uh, dived down and when I. Uh, when I was uh, diving up to the surface of the water, uh, I started to feel uh, you know, some, some uh, squeaky on my ears and then uh, of some blood came up my nose. So good. Why does it have to be staghorn corals? Well, it is convenient to grow and doesn't break easily. We fixed two of them, but the rest will have to be done by power. As for myself, I'm done for the day. Why is it all white? Because the temperature is passing. Oh, okay. The water is temperature. So it's dead now? Yes. <laughs> so what are you going to do with it? It became the sand. Oh, okay. Alright. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm just yeah. uh, waiting for the water to come out of my ears. <laughs> yeah, um, I need a rest. I feel a bit yeah. dizzy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It's hard work. It's yeah, it is. It's, it's kind of hard. Underwater, is temperature uh, and uh, pressure. <sighs> yes, you good. Diver. Still good though. Yeah. So I can get a license right away, right? <laughs> yes. Of course. Yeah. You don't need to wait three days. Pal just came up, and then uh, he uh, ran out of oxygen. So am I. So uh, <laughs> we probably have to call it a day, but uh, I have to say that it's a successful mission because uh, we saved uh, a few uh, corals and uh, a couple have to be sacrificed. Nat no, it's just natural. It's just natural disaster. So uh, anything can happen. But all in all, we all safe and uh, still good to go. This must be one of my toughest trip for charter lights. It's kind of exhausting to carry and take off the oxygen tank. Not only that, I had to hold onto the corals, which was pretty heavy. My body is so sore right now. This project is not over yet. You have to come out here every three months and check out whether each corals are still intact and alive. Remember that Gotalu is a private exotic natural island suited for bringing a group of friends over. Should be some great fun, but act quick before it's too late. Pity I didn't finish fixing the corals. Oh, what am I gonna do now? Oh, it doesn't matter because I can come back here anytime you want, you know. I can bring over a bunch of friends. I even have a friend who owns this uh, private island. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, really amazing to uh, pay a visit here. You know, this is the place where you can experience an amazing scenery, the beautiful atmosphere, and remember, 
try to preserve the environment every way possible. Well, I guess uh, my time has run out, so I'll see you next time on Tidal Lights. This is Tom, the new navigator. <laughs>